Indiana State Police taking steps to be more transparent to today. The agency launched a new body camera program. By the end of today, more than 230 body-worn and in-car cameras will be in use, and there will be hundreds more in just a few weeks. CBS 4's Melissa Crash explains how this will work. Indiana State Police troopers have a new set of cameras. This is a tool for us. It, and it's a tool for our citizens, it's a tool for you. 900 body-worn and in-car cameras, to be exact. Indiana State Police Superintendent Doug Carter wasn't a supporter of the technology at first. I was concerned that, that we, were, we would have, have a notion that if it's not recorded, it didn't happen. He's changed his mind, pointing out the cameras will help give officers and the public a look inside complex cases. We want to completely put all the pieces together and tell you what we know, not what we think. Officers can manually start the recording or the sensor will activate. Pistol comes out of the holster, the cameras come on. When the emergency lights come on, the cameras automatically come on. Connectivity is key. Indiana State Police have more than a county to be concerned about. They say with this technology, rural areas are covered. My concern was what happens at 2 in the morning in the middle of nowhere. Um, this technology has got to work because the community expects it to. I think most IMPD officers specifically would tell you that they wouldn't want to be working today without their body worn cameras. As the president of the Indianapolis Fraternal Order of Police, Rick Snyder has seen the benefits of this technology and says cameras play a pivotal role. Indiana State Police and our local communities can't fall into the trap of is believing that the body worn camera footage is the end all be all as it relates to any incident because it is not. It is just a piece of the overall puzzle. And Carter points out the cameras are also about transparency. But what I will not do is with a singular focus, not release something because it shows bad on us. I will not do that. In Indianapolis, I'm Melissa Crash, CBS 4 News. Melissa, thank you. The cameras will cost $15 million over five years. The 900 body and car cameras for Indiana State Police will be implemented by the end of August.